um, set oh shit set display mode so normally you do this in like a menu or whatever but this is a simple tutorial so mine for example is 1920 by 1080 um, at 32 bits so if you got a smaller or a larger screen just adjust it to what your resolution is so for example let's just just gonna go find mine here I'm on Windows 7 so it kinda gives you the nice option so there's mine um, so just gonna go up here again and then um, so I set the display mode so make sure you have that to what you your screen is otherwise you you get problems with your monitor maximize um, window because you kinda wanna see your game properly full screen so and there you go we've done these main variables now we can get on with uh, loading our objects so load map so we're gonna load our map first thing then we go void db load map uh, and then we got uh, open and close brackets and then we l we start the loading map load map um, Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Should not have put DB. I was just putting those variables. I kind of forgot about it. But there you go. That's load map. Just looking through my old code quickly. So first thing you do is you go load object. So you need to do this for every object from um, external that you're doing. So you want to go for map slash slash, and then you go basic map, which is the name of the map file dot dbo, uh, and then we put in the map uh, integer that we stored up there. Um, DB load image. Now this image is going to be our texture for the map, so we don't have a just a plain map um, looking a little bit weird and whatnot. And the file is called for tile .jpg. I got to make sure you put .jpg or the file is not going to stick. Uh, and then we save that to file number one. Uh, and then your map. Um, uh, oops made a mistake there the be load image and just go that to one yeah uh, f uh, never mind slash slash that's fine so um, and then you want to texture the map file object you want to texture the map with that texture you just loaded so the image I mean so that's that then you go setup SC setup complex object now um, my map is kind of out of the uh, the normal kind of stuff that's done on the uh, on the load map function, but basically setup complex object is for things with high polygons like uh, your main player or whatever, and uh, for maps like terrains, those are good for uh, for complex object. In my case, it's almost like a cube kind of map, so it's not really that necessary, but I'm doing it anyway in case people want to just change it to their own maps, and that should be useful. SC complex uh, object map and then you um, go SC you wanna allow the object to scale be scaled allow object uh, scaling and you so you wanna allow the map to be scaled so that's that um, and then you wanna scale the object because th um, the map's normal size is a little bit uh, kinda small overall so you wanna scale the map and then you want to scale 150, 100. So you're scaling it to a percentage of what the map size is. So if you put 150, as you're putting, means you're putting an extra 50% on the size of the map. And then you have to update the object uh, with Sparkies, otherwise it will not stick. Object. So you'll be using the old coordinates, the old physics co uh, collision coordinates for the new one. So the SC update object, and then you've got. Um, uh, object. I see whether I make a mistake. Is that big C? Yep. So there's that. Um, and you want to do it to map. You want to update the map because of the new coordinates. You want them to stick. So. <coughs> and that's our map for now. So we've loaded our map. Uh, next thing we want to do is we want to load our main character. So. Um, actually, I want I want to prefer having that as a smaller one. So. Um, load main okay so um, we're loading the main character now so load main character so we do a bit like we did void uh, load main character we do a bit like we did for the load map so it's pretty much similar except our main character will be a cube okay so excuse me actually a box so db make because 
it's a first person, sh person shooter you'd actually need to see the player so you'd just be wasting um, resources on drawing that um, character so what you do instead you go make up object box character normal box incredibly not demanding at all so and this is the size you should stick for it so uh, 150 is the height you got the depth which is 30 and the uh, the x axis which I'm not sure what you'd call it but that's 30 also and then you want to position it position object character db object position x so you want to position him where the map is right okay because you want him I'm going to be a little bit lazy here I'll have to do this in quite a few bits throughout the the tutorial because you know I want to try and save time where I can so I don't have 20 of these but um, you want to do that minus 600 so that when you spawn the plate you position him inside the actual map alright if you do cho choose to do a different type of map then maybe um, you'll have your own coordinates but mine are like this at the moment set up object so you want to set up object character you can set them in sparkies you want to say um, the reason why we choose one because it's a group one and two is because it's a uh, square so you, then you want to go db hide object you want to hide the, th the cube because we only only use them for uh, collisions we don't actually need him for um, well we don't need to see him so and then we're going to have to do our main camera db make object sphere sphere cam and then we will put it at 20 in size so and then you want to scale that to almost nothing because it's a camera you don't want to see it so sphere cam and in a minute we're going to have to run just to see if any errors so point zero 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 one so what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm making the camera very small so that it's not seen at all so DB position I could hide it but I prefer to just make it very small camera so you want to position the camera it's going to use a similar thing to this up here uh, position camera sphere position of sphere cam and uh, you want to go DB position object X so you want to position it just above character character and this is exactly what we're going to do when we update it um, plus 50 so and that's that we've loaded our object and that's it for now um, I mean character I mean so next thing you want to do next thing we want to do is start working on the actual um, characters uh, movement so we're gonna have update camera, ca camera first thing and then we'll do their movement so um, <coughs> so now this will go within the while loop because we need to keep calling it often um, or on every on every loop um, so things we're going to send into mouse we're going to send mouse move x now this these are necessary because we're controlling the camera with well rotating the camera with our mouse so move y so we s we send those two values in there so we can mess around with them um, and then we go void update camera it's actually small u camera and then we we receive two values we receive um, I'm just gonna make sure I don't do mistakes but mouse diff w uh, x and then you got int mouse diff y see these are two values um, I'm gonna send in there okay so now we're gonna start by saying if no clip equals false because we're gonna have two different types of cameras we're gonna have the one uh, with no clip and one with uh, no clip on so uh, the reason why we use no clip is because it's very good for when you're troubleshooting and when you've got a problem you wanna you know maybe look around the map see what everyone's doing um, see if something's moving the way you want it to uh, and so on so cam speed um, so we're going to call that at 0 0.07 and then we've got rot x um, now these are used um, float, oh never mind uh, rot x, these are used uh, to handle the rotation of the camera so 
that's why they call rods rod so just continuing this uh, so db object angle so guys you can't forget this bit because it's really important um, I forgot it last time I was trying to do this and it didn't go too well so and the rot y because it, it kind of screws you up your camera quite a bit because you need the um, the angle that the sphere is facing uh, db object angle y up and then you go rot x uh, equals db wrap value I'll just try and do this and I'll try and explain what it what it does so x plus float and this is where mouse diff comes in uh, diff y uh, times cam speed so cam speed alright so this defines how fast your camera is going to move when you mess around so if you decide that the later on that the speed given above the 0 0.07 isn't fast enough then you uh, uh, increase that yourself um, and uh, it should be a bit faster db wrap value but uh, I think the value is actually quite good as it is so up to you though obviously float uh, mass div x uh, times cam speed so this makes sure that you can move on the x and the y axis so db position now we want to position the, the sphere cam uh, on the player pretty much so so that we see from behind the player uh, sphere cam cam db object position x on character and then move on move on um, and then close that uh, just put z there I don't know why here and we want to put it um, at the character's height plus 80 so because we don't want it touching the ground because that would be the original character's height so uh, well not height but position on the y-axis so position camera we're in position the camera now based on the um, where the sphere cam is uh, object position x sphere cam because that's the whole point of our sphere cam is to work as a camera so do that and then close that there and then put a Z here and a Y there so we've got that now what we're going to do is some limitations to the camera now these things are going to stop the camera from excuse me f they're going to stop the camera from uh, turning around for example behind the player so that would be unnatural so um, and to make sure the player doesn't look up and keep looking up and just do you know flip 180 degrees upside down we don't want that uh, so db uh, if rot x so we only want to do it if it's within the angles we we want so I did check these angles quite a few times and I think these are good enough so if you're not happy with these afterwards off obviously feel free to change them and stuff but I think they're good as it is depends how much um, how much view you want for the player how much room you want to give them so rot x and you put rot y here and then you want zero for the depth and then you got rotate camera db object angle x and now we want to do it to sphere cam okay so do that and then as usual just copy and paste that because you obviously need to give all coordinates for it 